Hi, in this tutorial I will show how to deploy Actions Runner Controller RC to Kubernetes and connect it with your GitHub repo. This controller we need in order to deploy self-hosted runners to Kubernetes. And how to scale automatically your self-hosted runners count up to the total number of pending jobs in queue. So what is Actions Runner Controller RC? With ARC you can deploy self-hosted runners on Kubernetes cluster with a simple set of commands and auto-scale runners based on demand. Why we need to use self-hosted runner at all? And the reason for self-hosted runner is coming from security limitation in this case. In this uh, specific case I have an internal Kubernetes cluster which is not externally reachable and can be accessed only using the VPN. So how it works if the cluster can be reached externally? The self-hosted runner connects to GitHub to receive job assignments and to download new version of the runner application. The self-hosted runner uses an HTTPS long pole that opens a connection to GitHub for 50 seconds and if no response is received, it then time times out and creates a new long pole. Since the self-hosted runner opens a connection to GitHub, you don't need to allow GitHub to make inbound connections to your self-hosted runner. Okay, let's do it. Now I will deploy our C controller, but before that need to provision Kubernetes cluster. In this demo I will be using kind Kubernetes cluster. Uh, so let's create kind cluster first before installing ARC. Okay, so let's install ARC. By default, Actions Runner Controller uses Cert Manager for certificate management of admission webhook. And the Cert Manager basically basically a tool to manage uh, certificates and uh, certificate issuers on Kubernetes. So let's install it. Uh, to install the Cert Manager, you can use a command from from my tutorial so let's do it okay so the last thing before installing rc we need to generate github's personal access token pat so in order to do it, we need to go to your personal GitHub account. We're all in my case, settings, developer settings, personal access token, tokens classic, generate new token. Let's give it a name. So the permission is a repo admin workflow admin organization admin public key admin repo hook also org hook yes notifications and workflow we already selected that's it that's it click on generate token and need to add this secret to the Kubernetes, of course, before installing the helm of RC. So we ready to installation of the helm chart of the RC. Let's uh, install it. Okay, so now it's time to validate all the setup we created, to validate ARC actually working properly. And to validate this, we need to deploy example runner. And to deploy example runner, you need first to clone my repo, GitHub Action Series, because uh, the YAML file with, with the runner already there. You just need to to apply kubectl on this yaml file okay let's 
see the runner well, as you see the runner example in status running looking good so the last thing uh, to validate on the repo itself we need to go to in my case github action series settings to actions runners nice so as you see the runner example running and connected to to the repo itself uh, so so far looking good I validated the runner is deployed and connected successfully meaning I configured everything properly so let's remove the runner and the next step will be to to use auto scaling with horizontal runner auto scaler okay so let's do auto scaling with horizontal runner auto scaler Mm, for the auto scaler, I will use uh, pull driven scaling, not webhook driven, because Kubernetes cluster is not externally accessible and webhook can be used. No public endpoint. Another detail is uh, the metric option is used. I will use total number of queued and in progress workflow runs. Mm, this metric pulls github for all pending workflow runs against a given set of repos the metric will scale the runner count up to the total number of pending jobs at the sync time up to the max, max replicas configuration okay so let me show you the yaml file with horizontal runner auto scaler it's in scale runners folders in the github action series repo so you need to clone and then you can use it of course a uh, couple of parameters which was to emphasize it's a matrix type total number of queued and in progress workflow runs the repo is a github action series the number of replicas is minimum one and the maximum is four meaning in case of load on queue many jobs will be in pending state a uh, horizontal runner autoscaler may scale runners up to four replicas i will show you in the next step the demo actually uh, this is the runner deployment which will be scaled till four replicas in, in case in case uh, the load will be Okay, so let's deploy the edge array. And see if it's connected to, to the repo. Still offline status. Let's wait a bit. Great, now it's idle, meaning it's connected and working. Great, so one runner is up, which is minimal number needed and reasonable because I still not using any runners. Uh, so everything is expected. And the next step will be to create a GitHub workflow, which will use runners I deployed. So let's do it. Okay, so this is the workflow called scale test. GitHub workflow will be triggered manually. That's why it's workflow dispatch event type is used. This workflow runs four jobs simultaneously. Main purpose was to create some load on queue and trigger auto scaling of runners. The file of the workflow is uh, located in uh, GitHub workflows. In my case, I already added it uh, to this folder, meaning I can use the workflow already. In your case, you need to copy and add this workflow to your repo, to the same folder, GitHub workflows. So I don't need to deploy it because it already added, like I said. So next step will be uh, the demo itself. Let's uh, jump to the demo and we'll check everything uh, running as we expected. We got finally to demo part. Yay. 
as you see we have one runner currently that's because uh, we set one minimal uh, replica but what I'm actually expecting the moment I will trigger uh, the workflow to happen is to forge array to scale runners from one to four runners that's because we triggered a scale test workflow which runs four jobs simultaneously okay so I paused the video for 10 minutes I think to show you the final result the final result is uh, one runner meaning the HPA scaled down the, the number of runners because, because the, the workflow is finished no, no need in runners anymore uh, that's basically it thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel